Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this video, uh, we're going to uh, talk about how to handle a partial payment when creating an uh, invoice in QuickBooks Online. Uh, here is a case here. Uh, a customer bought $105 worth of product and paid $80 in cash. So you need to send an invoice to the customer for the balance. So how would you handle this in QBO? So let's go to QBO. So right here, QBO screen, create an invoice, plus sign invoice in here. Okay. So the deposit field is right here. Deposit field is right here. So uh, let's create one actual invoice here. Let's say the customer is this one AAA customer. Okay, and uh, the amount to this is the product code is let's say sales, and the amount is one hundred five dollars. Okay, and as you can see now, right now, uh, just watch this one. See address below SIP address you don't see anything, anything in there uh, so what happens when you enter deposit in here right here the deposit is right here the deposit is eighty dollars okay as you can see here the moment you enter the eighty dollar deposit the depo the invoice form uh, screen expands it adds these three fields okay so the payment method you can select uh, cash or check whatever where you got it let's say in this case is cash and the deposit field so you can select either your direct bank if it's gonna if you're gonna deposit this uh, uh, eighty dollars to the bank or if you're gonna batch this to uh, with another uh, checks or cash then you will select undeposited funds okay so uh, the deposit field if you don't see deposit field uh, on your invoice uh, it has to do with the uh, settings so settings so if you don't see deposit field in here you have to go to settings and enable that setting on so you just go to company gear right here and select company settings and select sales and deposit field is right here so this is a select deposit and you just need to turn it on select on and so then you will see that deposit field so this deposit field on the screen you will see it on uh, on all three plans essentials plus uh, and simple start so it's available on all three plans so once this once this is on, then you will see the deposit screen, deposit field on the screen. So right here, and you just save it, save and close. Let's say. Okay, this one they want uh, class in here. Let's put the class in here. Okay, save and close. okay so now what that will do is uh, let's just run one report here uh, I'm gonna run um, journal report uh, for, for that day it's today okay so here's your journal report okay so Balance due on that invoice is $25. That's accounts civil, and your product revenue is $105. And $80, the payment you receive, it was uh, sent to undeposited funds. So it could be undeposited funds or direct fund, as I said, or the bank account. So this is this is how it will uh, post transaction in QuickBooks Online. So. 
that's all you have to do and then you're all good to go so thank you for watching this video it's newqbo.com thank you bye